we are going to do a random digit table survey and then we're going to simulate the survey so I'm actually going to survey all of you right now let's see what we get from this list I need you to choose your favorite which one you would pick if you had to pick one how many people will choose Apple we have three in this room Three Apple people. What's that? Okay. Uh, how many people will choose orange? Zero. How many would choose strawberry? Oh my goodness. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. How many would choose watermelon? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right. Interesting. All day today, in all of my classes I've learned, I'm kind of unique. I'm the odd one. I would no doubt grab an orange huge juicy orange out of the fridge peel that thing and eat it and oh my yes it's my favorite right there so okay we move on next we should probably talk about some probability model type scenarios or topics uh, remember when we have like outcome probability for our models our outcomes technically are like the fruits apple orange strawberry watermelon okay um our probability, well, in order to figure out the probability, I need to know how many total people I just surveyed. 32, 35. That means there must be 35 people in this room. Or, no voters. Grr. Okay, 35 people in this room. The probability that the person chose Apple was? 3 out of 35. Did you find that one? 0.09. Probably somebody chose orange. Well, that's an easy one. Don't use your calculator. I hope. Three. Strawberries. 21 out of 35. Point six. Were these all perfect, nice numbers? Was this one nice? Okay. 11 watermelon. 11 out of 35. Rounds two. 0.31. Alright, we'll leave it at that. Perfect. Well, this is like my probability model. Down here for probability, I could use decimal or fraction. We've been using decimals a lot. So I will use the decimal. And I'm actually going to ask you to repeat those to me. Because that is my next slide. Let's complete the probability model. Apple was 0 0.09. Orange was 0. Strawberry was 0.6, and watermelon was 0.31. Okay. A lot of the problems we've been doing in Chapter 3 right now, we didn't really use the decimal so much. We did a lot of times when we did expected value. <clears throat> but we also needed to understand what this number was as a percent. What is 0.09 as a percent? 9 percent. 9 percent of the people chose apples. 0% of the people chose oranges. 60% of the people chose strawberries. And 31% chose watermelon. The reason I'm going to write them as percents is that is going to help me with my random digit table that I've got listed here. My survey is finished. I just did a survey, wrote down the numbers, collected the data, and wrote down percentages and decimals probabilities. If I choose one of you, what's the probability that someone that I choose is going to like strawberries? It's 0.6 or 60%. Okay, but the next step is we're going to simulate. Simulate means pretend. It's like we're going to run a little scenario. We're going to say, I'm going to just randomly choose somebody and find out if they like apples, oranges, strawberries, or watermelon. But I'm not actually going to pick one of you. I'm going to take the information you gave me and I'm going to run a little computer simulation. I am going to be the computer. And here's what I do. 
the numbers we're dealing with in this problem is percentages, right? Percentages. It's anywhere from 0% all the way up to, uh, if I add all these together, I should get what? 1 or 100%, right? So for example, just take a look at the random digit table. What are the first two digits in that random digit table? 45. So this is going to be where I'm going to have to start to lay out this problem and figure out how does that 45 relate to this question? How can I simulate? How can I just run a little scenario? The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to look at the Apple people. And there were 9% of them, which means, think of it this way. If my table says the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, those are going to represent the Apple people because there are 9% out of 100. So it's like this. Remember the 0? The 0, 1 to the 0, 9 is going to be Apple people. The, oh no, what do I do? I will never get an orange person. They're just all out. Oranges will never win. When I go to the strawberry people, I've used 9%. I have 60 more. Next one is 10 would be the next percentage, right? After 9. 9 plus 60, all the way up to 69% will give me strawberry people. So if the chart says anything between 10 and 69, look at the first two digits, 45, right? That's going to represent a strawberry person right there. The first person selected chose strawberry. Remember, this is not actually a person. I'm doing a simulation. I'm pretending. I'm dreaming. Person number one, strawberries. All right. Uh, next, uh, watermelon. 72 100. I don't want to put down 100 zero, zero, because that's what? Three digits. I'm not looking at three digits. I'm looking at two digits. But there is a number that tells me 100. Double zero. Right? The zero, zero scenario will be my 100. So you can decide to write it like this. 70 to zero, zero. You could write it like that. 70 to zero, zero is the watermelon people. If that confuses you, it's really 70 to 99, but then you've got to also include the double zero as your 100. I don't care how you write that. So here we go. It's time to simulate. The first number, two digits, was 45, which was the strawberry person. Falls right in there. The first person I chose was strawberry. The next number is 46. 46 falls in the strawberry category. The next person, the next number is 77, which is watermelon. The next person is number 17, strawberry again. The next number is number 9, which is apple, right on the border, right? The next person, 77, watermelon. Next one, 55, strawberry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need three more. The next one. 80 is watermelon. Double zero. Watermelon. And 95 is watermelon. What did I do? I did a virtual survey. And the virtual survey was done by randomly selecting virtual people. But the popularity of each item was determined by you. So I gathered your data and I did a virtual survey of you. That's what I did. Yes. How would you know to use two digits at a time? Very good question. Okay, what I'm going to be doing is I'm, these percentages are telling me that, okay, percentage is usually two numbers, right? Unless we have a really small one, like 2%, or the biggest one, 100%, right? And the scenarios where you get to 100 or 1,000 or 10,000 or things like that, remember that you can use the zeros as that. So 100% is double zero. Okay. 
So my percentage are, percentages are always two digits. So that's going to tell me I want to pick two digits. <laughs> 